all right y'all good morning good morning y'all know what it is man it's uh monday morning man a little bit chilly of course i ain't heard from bo he called me last night wanting to work 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 it's, it's 10 minutes after eight i ain't heard from him so you know we will move on uh christian's behind me in the other truck uh we are we are uh, we got a pretty good bit on the list but it's going to go pretty fast uh, because of the nature of the grass and all right now uh, it's a little bit chilly out so you know uh, it ain't nothing that uh you know really nothing exciting going on so yeah i think it's gonna be a beautiful day though the sun there's not a cloud in the sky and the sun is Picking up over the trees, y'all. So, run, bro. Here we go. Uh, so, Christian picked up a side job from one of my customers uh, over at uh, at the uh, storage facility. You know, uh, I don't know. I don't know how good it's gonna pay or or whatever. But it's gonna be a lot of work. I hope he's ready for that. Uh, he's gonna see uh, that it's gonna be a lot of work. Uh, but he can do it, you know. It's just a matter of, you know, uh, of using your money to buy tools and stuff that you can, so you can do stuff like that. But right now, we finna cut some grass. And clean up clean up uh, a few of the a few yards we got about 10 on the list you know it's not a whole 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 lot you know but it's enough where we can uh eat another day y'all eat another day that's right that's right so we'll see what uh what these yards are looking like uh, i know the grass is not going to be tall uh and that's the that's the sweet thing about it the weed eating is going to be minimal uh if Bo had come out here i probably would have you know used uh well if Bo had come out here we probably would have i probably would have added a few more on uh you know just in my head you know but i kind of figured he wasn't gonna sh show up you know so uh the list we'll just go off the list today if we can get me and christian get everything on this list done we some bad boys you know uh and you know we're starting on time today so uh, we have been getting a kind of a late start uh, and it, it it happens you know during the during the winter time man you know fall winter season you know because there's nothing really pressing, you know. Uh, we're basically just trying to, you know, wrap up, you know, close out the lawn care season so I can put the lawnmowers up, man. I'm ready to put the freaking lawn, I'm ready to put all the lawnmowers up but one and just use that one for whatever. And this year, that'll probably be, I'll probably uh, uh, put all the lawnmowers up except for the skag. And, uh, and then I can, you know, I can always go get a mower if I need one, you know, from my, uh, well, from my storage unit or from my shipping container. So either one don't matter. Okay, guys. So we got done with this first one. Uh, the grass wasn't bad. It's just just a little scraggly and scringly and all that, man. It's wet too, and it's cold, man. Oh my God. Well, it's cold for here uh it ain't cold like it is up north uh yeah so we knocked this one out y'all uh <clears throat> there's a subject that i've been meaning that i've been wanting to talk to you guys about and i well i want to ask what 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 other guys do you know other guys that have guys working with them and stuff so, <clears throat> I guess uh, I'm trying to 
just get a beat on what everybody else does. Not that that's really going to make me do one, anything one way or the other. So what do you guys do or uh, they have guys working for you, you know? Uh, do y'all let the employees use tools? Like, say they got they, they get a side job. Uh, do y'all let them use use your uh, your tools uh, to do side work? Is that something y'all do or not? I'm just curious. Uh, but if somebody is working for you, if they come up with a side job, right, and they want to do the side job, but they don't have the equipment, do y'all do y'all let them use your equipment? You know. And if so, do y'all charge them or what? You know. Now, I already know a couple of things that I'm not going to do. Uh, I'm not going to loan a mower out to nobody. I'm just not going to do that to do side jobs. Uh, and I have over over the years, you know, let let guys borrow, you know, a weed eater here and there, you know. But it ain't going to be something that, it, it's not something that I, that I you know, want to do all the time or nothing. Because what that does is that is, is that makes it where... Uh, they're using your equipment and then they're never going to buy their own equipment because well, why would they because they can use yours you know and it ain't costing them nothing so uh i'm just curious you know it's just an, a, a a question that came to mind uh last night uh you know in my head you know i'm trying to think about things i can talk about out here because you know the work is getting slow and uh i'm just uh trying to you know look at uh different scenarios y'all scenarios but yeah man y'all let me know in the comments what, what y'all think about that man and uh and and how y'all and ain't nobody asked me to borrow no tools or nothing it's just the things i'm thinking about uh as i'm moving forward you know uh in the game here but I hope everybody had a happy Halloween and all that good stuff. Uh, we didn't get a lot of trick-or-treaters or nothing, you know. Uh, Halloween is, is not the same as it was when I was coming up, you know. Uh, Halloween is, well, there's a lot of bad people out there, man, you know, at the end of the day. And society has kind of changed a little bit since when I was coming up, you know. When I was coming up, you know, we'd go get candy and, and it was a big shindig, you know. But, uh it's not really like that anymore man uh not you know not 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 for the trick-or-treating part of it uh, i don't have no fuel in nothing so i need ethanol free fuel and i'm fixing to put ethanol free fuel in here in here in here in here, in here thing I'm going to put, so this time of year, a lot of times what I do, y'all, is I'll put ethanol free in the mowers. Uh, because you never know how long the mower's going to sit before you use it again. And I know a lot of guys swear by the, you know, the the gas treatment stuff, you know. All right, y'all, so I got the dust cap finally for the Ferris. I just picked it up. Three dollars, y'all. Yeah. I mean, they were wanting like, I don't know. 15 bucks or so plus shipping on online you know i mean i could have paid that but i ain't mm -mm. all right not if i ain't got to so that saved me you know 12 dollars, and that 12 dollars i put in the gas you know just be smart with your money man is all i can say don't matter how little or how how much you know if you can if you can be smart with your money then you can damn, you know, uh, do a lot more, you know. Uh, and a lot of people will say, well, you know, uh, you're making plenty of money. You could, you could have ordered it online. Yeah, I could have, you know, but I, I mean, I make more money if I didn't, you know, since I didn't. I, I mean, it, though it's though it's a little it, it's not it's not a big money or nothing you know but every little bitty thing you got to have a mindset like that uh every little bitty you know money all the money that you can save on stuff you know like that is helpful you know
know and if you do that all year long or all season long in your business well you uh at the, if you look at the numbers at the end of the at the end of the year is it, it can be substantial uh the money that i save every year uh, you know from different things that i do to save money all the way from you know uh buying parts and uh installing things myself fixing stuff myself uh and 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 that kind of thing i mean you know that's uh you know a big deal i guarantee you uh this season and i'm sure man i'm, I'm sure that guys in my spot do the same thing i mean i'm not doing nothing unique uh when you uh look at somebody that's in my same spot you know uh, but I guarantee you uh, this year since January of you know of 2021 I guarantee I have saved saved ten to fifteen thousand uh, dollars in in uh, parts labor uh mechanical stuff you know that kind of thing i guarantee you i have y'all it's substantial you know and now that this 15 dollar cap dust cap is ain't gonna wasn't gonna make or break me but you know i i knew that i could get it cheaper than that and if i had uh you know been somewhere where they had them right there and i could grab one for twelve dollars well or fifteen dollars or even twenty dollars i probably would have done it you know uh just because of the availability right there right then and there right now you know uh but there it wasn't like that and you know uh and i know a lot about trailer hub dust covers and things like that god man it always oh, i might skip this one y'all damn man i'm not gonna be able to do this one they got looks like they got painters here So yeah, I wanted to give y'all an update, man. Uh, just, just FYI, my mom did great on the surgery, man. Uh, she's back home, uh, feeling good, and you know, uh, and hopefully some, some, some good things will be happening for her health-wise. You know, now that she got this pacemaker in. So you know, uh, thankful for all the prayers and all the uh, thoughts. And uh, yeah, so you know so glad that she uh you know made it through that it, it, even though it's not a, a big deep surgery like it used to be i mean it, it is i mean anytime you are having surgery on your heart or area and you're 70 something years old well that's it's a pretty big deal you know so but she's doing great she feel good she's back home eating and sleeping and you know just glad she was just glad to get back home you know uh, the hospital these days are not not that they ever were they're not any fun uh and people can't visit you or nothing it's 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 a it's a very uh lonely depressing place to be right now with, with you know with all the covid rules and stuff you know so yeah Trying to beat Christian over here because he, I like to go and cut us a place to park. He's gonna be, and these are the there's one, two, there's four that we're gonna be doing right here together. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four, uh, and I usually incorporate that one too, and this one up here, but I'm not gonna be doing this one up here. Uh,
I mean, uh, you know, uh, this time of year, it's just, uh, it's real, it's all over the place, man. I, I don't really like this time of year because it's not organized enough. Uh, and I'm not the king of organization, you know, uh, or nothing, but uh, I find that when I'm not organized, I'm not efficient. And when I'm not efficient, I'm not making as much money, man. I am uh, aware of that. So, you know, we're, I mean, we're, we're skipping so many lawns. The schedule is all over the freaking place, man. You know, I wish Christian had started, you know, a, a month or so earlier than he did. Uh, see, that one can wait another two weeks, three weeks been a month already it's been a month since the, the ones that i'm going to now it's been a month since we was over here so you know uh yeah but uh uh I, i'm glad christian caught that side job you know he caught a side job that's that, that's a good that's a good little job you know uh that he's gonna uh if he can do it in a timely fashion, now if it takes him two weeks, well, that might not be so good. But I don't know uh, how long it'll it'll take him to do it, to do that job uh, where he's uh, clearing the fence line off. Uh, but I got some bobcat work I can do, so you know tomorrow I'll go run the bobcat uh, and uh, work over there and uh, at the. Uh, at the bamboo site filling that dumpster up you know uh, a job a job that i did a few months ago a couple of months ago i guess where i took out a tree right in front of a house for the bobcat i dug it out and everything uh the uh the owners there want me to come back and they got a bunch of trees they want to trim so uh i'm, I'm gonna have to go out there and look at that job that'll be a pretty good paying job probably uh well you know it'll have to be uh yeah so i mean that's a good thing man you know uh work just kind of trickles in you know uh, and it, this is work that uh was based on uh what i did before for them uh and they and they were okay with you know the job i did before i think i don't remember exactly what i charged them but i want to say around 500 dollars to take out that one tree and move it so i just got off the phone with her and i'm gonna go out there and look at the job and kind of just see what you know their parameters are what they're trying to do uh, and the good thing about that job if it takes more than a day I can leave my equipment out there uh, I've known these I've known these people all my life so uh, they've known my 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 mom and them since before I was born so uh, yeah uh, good people though you know so uh, I'll get out there and take a gander at it. I'll take you guys with me and, and uh, we'll get some video out there of what they want to do. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I think they're, they're a little bit pressed for time because they want to build some kind of carport or something. So, and there's a lot of trees there. It's a big property. I don't know how many acres it is, but it's, it's more than five acres. Uh, and there's a lot of other things I could do out there too. Uh, Maybe we can come up with a package deal where I can work on their driveway. There's a lot of things I could do out there with a skid steer. Uh, and I noticed that the last time I was there and I told her, you know, hey, when y'all get ready to do some, some stuff around here, let me know and I'll come out, you know, with the Bobcat and the man lift and I'll do, you know. A lot of times the customers got, don't know what you can and can't do. They don't know, you know, unless you tell them. They don't know what kind of, you know, what uh, your uh, limits are or not, you know. You know she, she, I don't think she knew that I had a man lift until I just told her. Uh, and that, but what that does, that puts you in a whole nother realm of money and time efficiency and all that. And safe, got to be safe too. So, yeah, y'all. So that's where I'm at, man. So uh, <clears throat> back to today. So me and Christian are all the way down to the last three. 
and it is 12 o'clock right now so we'll probably get done uh, right around uh, 2 30 maybe something like that uh, I don't see why we can't uh, yeah I don't yeah I don't see why we can't get done around that time uh, and that's the tricky part about being in this business man you gotta know how long it take you to do stuff and the way to do that and the way to learn that is just to you know in your head when you're out here working like I am today I look at the three properties I got left I look at the time I look at the way the grass is growing and the time of year and and, and, and what I did the last time and blah blah and how long it's been and I, I think about all those things real quick and then I just predict and then I see how far I, you know testing myself see how far off I am so it's 12.03 right now and uh, we got two big ones to do and a little one to do so we're gonna be uh, uh, knocking these out you know and will also be testing my timing skill set <laughs> so I'm, I'm saying 2 30 or earlier than 2 30 that's what I'm saying uh, you know one thing about doing big properties is the mowers do all the work and so when you start getting into the off season the mowers are still doing all the work and they're you know the mower is everything i mean in this game your mowers are your your bread and butter for real real and even even when you get into the off season you know uh we've done very little weed eating today but if you don't watch out on lawn mowers you can be very inefficient on a lawn mower for what a lawn mower can be a lot on one of the lawn mowers that i got they're very efficient i mean as far as what they do now you got to put it in a scenario to keep it efficient and to keep it uh you know uh you know moving and what makes sense and not backtracking and all those things the same concept in everything that we do out here it's all about efficiency and then you know equipment uh, equipment and then the efficiency with the equipment it's a given that we're gonna be we, that we got good equipment we know that now how efficient are we with the good equipment well if you're very efficient with the good equipment then you you're 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 doubling down and you know i've seen and learned over the years that just because somebody's on a big boy mower though they are efficient they can be better me too i can be better i can be more efficient on a mower now with the properties that i do for the most part i, I got them streamlined down to a science and you know uh there's a method that i do them and I've been making money at them at, 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 at the way I'm doing them for years based on the equipment that I got and all that. You know, uh, some guys can get on a lawnmower and they're not efficient. They're not, uh, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they can make money because they're on a damn $15,000 lawnmower. Anybody can make money on one, but can you make top dollar, y'all? We want top dollar out here, man. I want top, top, top dollar. And if you ain't making top dollar, then uh, you need to try to get there, you know. And it's usually based on efficiency, you know. And that goes all the way back to how dense how dense your routes are, uh, and uh, and how you do the properties and the more you do the same property the more in tune you are with everything going on with the property see these two right here they're not even going to get cut this week either see that's two big ones right there they don't need it uh, and see I, I remember that you gotta have a good memory too to be out here and to make top dollar too you gotta be remember you gotta be in tune with what you're doing and where you're going and 
uh, what you got coming down the pipe and everything. <clears throat> the thing about this tree trimming job that's uh, for my uh, uh, out here that I'm going to go look at sometime today, the thing about that job is that, that job is, uh, is going to be sweet because the ground is so flat there. Uh, where, as I remember, where uh, I remember where she was pointing at while I was there the last time. Now I didn't know that they would want to hire me to trim the trees. I think they were just kind of seeing how I did on on the tree that I took out and dug out dug up, you know. So, uh, and it was real hot that day. It was terrible. So, you know. Uh, I will be much more efficient, uh, you know, now than we were you know, a couple months ago doing tree work. Because tree work, man, is, is exhausting in the heat. Exhausting. Now, how in the world did, I, did he not beat me over here? He should have been here before me. And that's another thing, you know. You gotta be beelining from job to job. Yeah, a lot of times guys come out here, they think they know the best way to go from job to job, but they don't. They're going way out of the way uh, for whatever reason. Uh, because they think they know the way and then they really don't. They know the, they know how to get there, but they don't know the, the, the money making way. They know the, you know, the hanging out way. But yeah. So Christian took on a little side, a side job. It's a pretty big job, really. Uh, I think the owner over there might be might be uh, getting a great deal if Christian can do the work. And but uh, Christian's gonna have to have some equipment over there to do it, you know. Uh, and, I, and I don't know what kind of equipment he has or, or whatever. It's going to take more than a weed eater. Uh, but, you know, when, you, when you're when you young and, and you physically, and, you know, and you physically can do a lot of things, you can overcome not having some equipment on some jobs, you know. And this job is not a job that that is like just no way he can do it without equipment because you you, you could do it without major equipment uh now i wouldn't do it without equipment uh but i'm a lot older than him i'm you know he's 21 i'm 52 so but when i was 35 and i didn't have any equipment i could i, I could i could figure out a way to go through there and uh, do a lot uh, just because I was physically able and didn't mind, you know, uh, doing that considering my overhead was minimal, you know. Uh, but we're going to see from afar how he does on it, you know, and just, uh, and if he needs some guidance, you know, I can, I can help him, you know, uh, with knowledge but uh i'm not gonna be doing none of the work so too busy for all that there y'all but tomorrow probably what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go it is well i'm gonna see if i can get bo to come to work if bo come to work then i'll do a whole roundhouse tomorrow we'll do all those yards but if bo don't come to work what i'll do is i'll go do this one property the hundred dollar property and uh then i'll come back home and I'll uh, take the skid steer out. And I'll probably even take the old truck when I go in the morning so I can go on and hook this truck up to the skid steer trailer. And so when I get done with that one property, it'll only take me about an hour and then another you know, 45 minutes of ride time. Uh, so if I leave here at eight, I can be back here before 11, you know, uh, and 
then I can carry the skid steer over to uh, the bamboo site and I can start making some real money. You know, going and start building a, building a check, y'all. I love building a check. Uh, yeah. And I'm home now. Y'all know what it is, man. It's Sammy time! Monday, y'all. See ya.